edition of my uh, email I'm sending out for Technology Tuesday. I know a lot of you are really busy and have a hard time getting by, but I thought I'd, there's just too much information out there to share without uh, um, doing what I can to uh, help move technology forward in our building. In any case, uh, I thought I'd include a, a video of of moi if you didn't were too tired or bored to read my my stuff my spiel here on the email but in any case I uh, just want to explain a couple things uh, that are, might be important to you and one that might uh, have some relevance and each week I'd like to do a uh, little clip that will uh, give you some type of tip of how to use technology or just make an FYI moment and today I was going to talk a little bit about the terabyte uh, did you know how much memory is in a terabyte? Well, it's actually 1,024 gigabytes. And it's hard to put into perspective, so I copied in a, a little example here that I, I got from uh, the Internet and with an explanation. I, I recall uh, seeing years ago um, an example in a magazine of Bill Gates. He was strung up amongst the old uh, growth forest timbers in Oregon. Uh, he was in a crane and they had him strapped in at the, the very t tips of these trees. And uh, there was a stack of paper that he was, it was simulating that he was sitting on a stack of paper that went up to the top of these giant uh, trees. And uh, then there was a, a stack of paper that was right next to him that came up about two thirds of the way. And there, so the image, it was like an aerial shot of him uh, uh, up there. And it, the it was uh, an example of how much information you could put on simply one CD um, disk. That's when they were like 650 megabytes. Well, that's about half of a gigabyte, a little over half a gigabyte. And uh, so we, then we became really comfortable using gigabytes. And then now we're talking terabytes, petabytes, teraflops, all of these. So what the heck are they? Well, um, to put it in perspective, uh, a terabyte is actually 1,024 gigabytes. So um, it's basically, if you had high, uh, high quality audio, you could probably, in one terabyte, it'll uh, support 2,000 audio clips. Or as we might know, like the MP3 uh, quality, that'll handle about 14,000 clips. Uh, or four hours of movies, or or whatever you, you might say. So it's pretty. Uh, there's a lot of storage in a in a in a terabyte, and so hopefully this will help explain that to you. The the biggest uh, thing I wanted to uh, to share with you besides that, you know, I do have a link on here to, to that'll take you to show you more information on storage, and memory storage, is that uh, and here's the the clincher is that. Everybody in the school district, every staff member and each student now has uh, at their disposal a terabyte of storage on the cloud. Um, that's uh, part of the Microsoft Office 365 agreement they have with us and many other districts. Um, so we have uh, our students and us, we all have a terabyte of storage of information available to it. All you got to do is log in to your Office 365 account to set it up. So you guys might be thinking, oh boy, so how do I set that up? Well, I've got a link on this email uh, to set up your Office 365 um, account, and an Office 365 portal, you'll see that link. Put in a username, and your username is just as if you would log into Novell, except for uh, you have a new email address, and I bet you may not have known that as well. But mine, as I have shown here, is mattb at sps81.org. And if this is your first time doing this, then your password for the first time is new account. Uh, so you get into there, and guess what? The, the bonus is, is that now you can install uh, Microsoft Office, Office 365, uh, on your computer for free. Um, it's... Uh, it's completely free and it's free to all of our students as well. Even beyond graduation, students can maintain that memory and uh, get the use of Office 365 for up to one year upon their after their graduation. So they can you know then transfer it to their own account later. So it's, uh, it's really a, a pretty uh, cool thing. You can also um, 
not only install piece, uh, Office on your PC, Office Online, but you could do it on a Macintosh if you happen to be a Mac user, uh, as well as you can smart, install it on your smartphone or tablet too. So there's some really, really cool productivity tools in this suite of Office. Uh, it just might take a, a little bit of time to look at it and get familiar with it, uh, but certainly it's a uh, I'll assure you that it will make your life a lot uh, simpler in the long run. Um, you know, starting off, of course, you got the basics. You got Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, and OneNote. I don't know if many of you use OneNote, um, but I, that's a rather than using sticky notes, you can use OneNote and keep everything in in one place. The benefit of using this cloud or the cloud computing is that man, you can uh, you can sh collaborate and share documents with peers. And it's it. They have the security down, so you don't have to worry about your documents getting stolen. Uh, you can also. Um, it's a great way to collaborate uh, with across groups. So we have our cloud meetings and stuff. There may be a document that you're doing for um, um, for your advisory committee meetings, etc. So the, it, there's some great, great, great tools that way. Um, so in any case, if you need any inf any more information about uh, these products or other products, like I, I, I mentioned, there's they have a Yammer, that's a new social site. They've got uh, one called Delve that's kind of like the old Microsoft Office uh, briefcase, if any of you remember that. Uh, if you have any questions about any of these, feel free to just come on by and I'll help you get uh, logged in and get your account ro rolling. And you can enjoy... Uh, saving your stuff in, in uh, cyberspace as well. Um, I know I, I have uh, also accounts, some of you might think, hey, I already use Dropbox, I use um, other types of cloud storage. Yeah. Well, guess what I do too, as you probably imagine. But um, this, this is really a great centralized way to um, focus uh, what you do here uh, as educators and, uh, and do it, uh, all of the documents that you you keep you can keep it in one spot for our kids so uh, again uh, uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this little nerd moment of mine and uh, uh, I'll, I'll be happy to help at any time